Finding Your Activity, and um, we are here at the Family Wellness Center. We thought this would be a pretty good location That's for right. the lesson. And uh, once again, I'm Tiffany Calvert, the County Extension Agent for Family Consumer Sciences. And I'm Angie Hudnall, Registered Nurse at Purdue Wellness Center. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question right off the bat. Do you track your activity? Uh, what activity? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Angie, so we both can work on this, right? That's right, that's right. right. Okay, so um, when we're talking about tracking your activity, you have to have a timer of some sort, whether it's a stopwatch, your smartphone. Um, I know a lot of people um, have an app for tracking their activity, and that's really useful. Yeah. Um, and where you record that is totally up to you. I used to keep a notebook in my truck. I live in my truck. Do you live in your car? I kind of do. Yeah, because I knew that if I kept that notebook in there, whether I was walking at the park, whether I was at the Family Wellness Center, wherever I was at, then my truck would be with me. So keep up with your activity. Um, just as it is with keeping a food log, you are going to feel accomplished by recording your activity because you're going to know what time of day that you can step it up a notch, right. um, and you're also going to know uh, how to do better. You're not going to know that you know how to do better unless you start really realizing the lack of activity in your life. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and Angie is going to talk about um, how to cope with some challenges. So some challenges are, you know, I'm too busy. I don't have time to keep up with the paper in my truck. I don't have time to do that. So what can you do? Well, there's lots of things on your iPhone that you can do or your regular phone, lots of apps. And a lot of them will keep up with your activity without you even knowing it. You yeah. know, I can look on it right now and tell me how many walks. As long as my phone is in my pocket, I'm good to go. So, um, but you got to make sure you're taking time to track. You know, this is really important. you got to make it work. And then maybe you say, I have trouble reading and writing. Again, use your smartphone, the app. And all you're doing is you're just making sure, okay, um, 30 minutes today on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm going to make sure that I'm doing my exercises. Or while I'm watching my favorite show, I'm going to exercise through every single commercial. You know that there's five commercials through your favorite show, and you're going to exercise through each one of them. That could be a simple way to track. And then I keep forgetting, well, if it's important to you, and it should be, you got to be able to remember to do that. Yeah, and I would just suggest like focusing on your goals. The goals that you've set for this program, whatever those are, focus on that. Think about achieving those goals and, um, and record your progress. You're not going to know um, how close you're going to get to achieving your goals unless you write it down. So I'm just going to uh, uh, make a vision board. Have you ever made a vision board? I've not made a vision board. Do you know what a vision board is? I don't. Tell me about okay. it. So my vision board uh, now is rather large, and it's just a board of collection of pictures, photographs, um, inspirational quotes, places that I want to go, things that I want to do. And it's just when I look at that board, that sets my day because I know that every day I'm working toward those goals. Hey, that's a and good so idea. maybe the goals that you've set for this program, you could then put onto your vision board. So I know it keeps me both motivated, um, especially um, my family and I, we love to kayak. Have you been kayaking, Angie? I've been you white water rafting, not kayaking. You need to come with us sometime. <laughs> we even take family vacations and we go kayaking. We've been um, kayaking at Navarre Beach, Florida with the dolphins. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, and so, so cool. you also might think of fitness as being like entertaining, okay? Because my kids that don't. My sense. whole family, when we go kayaking, they're not thinking about how much fitness that they're getting. They're just thinking, I'm having fun and so on and so forth. So on my vision board, I have a picture of the Keys, Florida Keys, because I want to go kayaking there. Yeah, that'd so, be nice. So um, I would really, really um, like for you to create a vision board because it'll really help you out with setting your goals and achieving those goals. But Tiffany, I don't like to have to track and keep up with my information, so how can I do that? I know, it is, it is um, you know what? I've been known to actually just text message myself you can do that. You just That's put in your phone idea. number and you text message yourself. It keeps up with it. Absolutely. And then at the end of the week or the end of the month, whatever, then you've got, you can just go back and look exactly what you did. And I would encourage you not only to record how many minutes you're exercising, but what was the activity that you were doing? 
That way, and when we look at your logs, Angie and I, we can have a pretty good idea if it was, you know, moderate to intense activity. Mm -hmm. um, and so that we can get more of an idea of what you're doing and how to encourage you to step it up a little bit. And remember that moderate's gonna be a little different for everybody. We went on a um, group event at Purdue and we went bowling. Let me tell you, it was moderate for this girl. <laughs> Getting up there and bowling that? Yes. Oh yeah, I was sweating. Yep. I, this girl, I was getting a workout. I can relate. And yeah. It's not been too long that I took a, a stroll on Western's campus. And that heel. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a killer. So um, it's different for everybody and we just want to be here to help you stay encouraged um, and just motivated to track your um, physical activity and so that we can know the areas that we can help you improve. All right, so here we are at the Family Wellness Center, and I just happened to run into this guy, Dr. Eddie Embry, and um, I know uh, that you have a business and you have a really big family, so can you just tell us a little bit about how you make time for fitness? Well, um, I do have a full-time practice. I'm a chiropractor here in Beaverdam, so I run uh, Embry Chiropractic Center. Uh, I'm married and I have seven kids, and they're in all kinds of sports, so I try to make time for health because uh, I have to keep myself healthy so I can take care of my patients. Um, so what I do is I schedule time for me for working out during the middle of the day. Uh, I do it on my lunch break. And I come to the wellness center and I usually have anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes that I can work out. And they check me in, check me out. I go get a bite of lunch at home um, and then head back to the office and I'm ready to go. So I just make it a habit, make it a routine, and, and do it, like I said, anywhere from three to four times a week. So do you do this five times a week? No, not five times a week. <laughs> anywhere from three to four times a week. Three to four. Yeah. Okay. Well, we uh, appreciate you sharing that idea with us. And yeah. um, what's your weekends like? Do you come back here? Or not are you chasing the kids? And usually <laughs> we're doing soccer and, um, you know, things like that. So everybody's busy, busy on the weekends. I know you're looking forward to warmer weather to get outside and do some walking and running. And uh, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, thank we you all so like much. To be outside, so. All right. Thank you. Thank you.